and stop. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's, can we zoom out anymore? It's like the, it doesn't zoom out anymore. Black Canyon of the Gunnison is located in Colorado, about 250 miles southwest of Denver, and about 350 miles southeast of Salt Lake City. From the city of Montrose, Colorado, we took the 347 to the entry gate. We're going to be camping at the South Rim Campground, and then driving the seven miles along the South Rim Road. Along the road, there are several uh, pullouts and uh, places to see, beautiful views, and also several places for short hikes. We're going to be doing quite a few of them. Good morning. Welcome to day eight. We're here at Black Canyon of the Gunnison, South Rim Campground, spot A16. It's beautiful, I think we have a nice little campground here. Let me show you around a little bit. So there we have the van. Lily put it up on the blocks, we drove the van. You got it all leveled. Great job. Bear box makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Picnic table, pile of wood, trusty companion dog, and fire pit. Where's my Steelers? And this is our view. <laughs> Down the valley, we can see forever. And the cool thing is right outside, we opened the van doors last night and sat up in the, the bed area and we could see the sunset, which I'll show you right here. All right, and then this is the view out this morning. Willie's been walked and had his breakfast. So have I. <laughs> Visited the facilities. And I think we're gonna go drive to the visitor center. There's a ranger-led talk that they were talking about. And uh, we might go on that in a couple short hikes and see the, see the Black Canyon. It's supposed to be quite impressive. So let's go. We're here at the South Rim Visitor Center. Black Canyon of Gunnison is our first view of Black Canyon. Beautiful. It's supposed to have one of the highest drop offs in Colorado at over 2,000 feet. The Black Canyon Visitor Center has lots of great stuff inside. One of the things that caught my eye was a display about the construction of the Gunnison Tunnel. It's an irrigation tunnel that supplied water to uh, the surrounding area for agriculture and also the town of Montrose. In 1900, several community leaders attempted a trip with two wooden boats to locate a site for the Gunnison Tunnel. After three weeks, townspeople gave up on the expedition and stretched a net across the river at the mouth of the canyon to catch the bodies that they felt sure would come. The oars are all that's left from this effort. The cold, wet, hungry men abandoned their craft and scrambled to the rim. William Torrance, shown on the left, was hired by water engineer Abraham Lincoln Fellows, shown on the right, to help explore the depths of the canyon. Assigned to locate the tunnel portals, Fellows and Torrance headed down the canyon in 1901 to find a site. Construction on the Gunnison Tunnel began four years later. Towns at both ends were built to support the miners, but they battled intense heat and cave-ins. Most of the workers spent only two weeks on the job. Despite all this, the 5.8 mile tunnel was completed in 1909. So we're just walking from the visitor center. There's a few trails that branch right out from the visitor center. 
Oh wow, so there's the Gunnison River. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is my first view of the canyon. I liked it so much, I bought a t-shirt. Oh my gosh. We're on this bridge that goes all the way down there. Wow. Does it... No, oh, not really. Oh, wow. Look at that. Down there. An explorer and engineer, John Gunnison, seeking a Pacific Rail Road passage in the 1950s, judged Black Canyon impenetrable. He referred to the difficulty of getting from one side to the other. He could not have known that the river had hewn the canyon walls from a dome of extremely resilient crystalline rock, a geological event now known as the Gunnison Uplift, and raised the canyon's rock from deep in the Earth's basement. Two million years ago, its course determined by the location of high mountain ranges, the river began cutting through the uplift's core with rocks, gravel, and sediment. When further empowered by floodwaters, it gained speed through a steep descent from the surrounding mountains. It wields huge boulders that scour trees and chisel the canyon bottom. Where's your... It's so sad because the video just doesn't really do it. Pictures, it can't, it can't really describe oh, yeah. what you're really seeing. So this stop on the uh, on our vacation, our 23 day trip, Black Canyon of the Gunnison, I didn't really know much about it. I'd never heard of it. Didn't really know what to expect. It was one of those things that we just sort of, people said, oh, this is one, you know, it's on the route. You, you need to see it, it's kind of cool. And I didn't really know anything. I didn't have any vision of it, but this is just awe-inspiring. Really, really glad that we put the, these things on our list that we don't know what they are. And we just figure we're gonna go and check it out and see what's what. And, and this was definitely a pleasant surprise uh, to see this. All right, Asa has something to say. Um, I mean, the rocks over there is like dead people's school. Uh -huh. Overall, I've seen a bunch of these already, so. Mm. It's just like rocks and canyons and not really all that impressed. Okay, fair, honest. We're at Gunnison Point in Gunnison, uh, Black Gunnison National Park. Just look around here. It's different from every national park we've been to. <laughs> and then here, right here, you can see the river. Oh, the way down there. Thank you. Yeah. And then there's. Yeah, I'm. So different. I'm uh, bravely holding my camera over the edge. Because if you drop it, say bye bye. <laughs> I say hello to an iPhone 14 Pro. You can say bye bye to iPhone 11. <laughs> say hello to iPhone 14. No, I would lose all of the everything that I have in here. So. Of everything, right? I've already right. downloaded all that. Shoot, this 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 could be this could be like the Bravo Cliff, not on YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. And stop. <laughs> oh my god. Can we zoom out anymore? It's like the, it doesn't zoom out anymore. You want to you want to get more. There's my trusty boots right on the precipice. Emily don't watch this. I almost fell. It's okay. Describe what you're seeing and what you're um, feeling. We are maybe two feet away from the edge and uh, yeah, don't lean back because <laughs> I'm not going to come after you. Um, <laughs> and it is like straight down. Oh Lord. Straight down. All to myself. <laughs> I've got this whole, 
Oh, there's that other trail. I want to go on that one too. But for now, I've got this all to myself. This whole area. And there's nobody here. <laughs> and here come into yelling at Asa. You don't have the right shoes. He's wearing um, Crocs, which is funny. <laughs> Let's go hiking and rock climbing and mountain climbing with Crocs. At least wear socks, right? At least put your socks on before you put your Crocs on. Now harnessed by three upstream dams, the Gunnison River seldom has the freedom and power to carve the Black Canyon as it once did. Blue Mesa Dam, Morrow Point Dam, and Crystal Dam ensure flood control, provide stable irrigation, and generate hydroelectric power. Downstream, however, these dams have altered the natural flow of the river, which in turn has changed the natural character of the river and the canyon bottom. As the river plunges through steep sections, its energy increases, cutting through the cliff walls faster than erosion can wear away the canyon sides. The result is the dramatic black canyon of the Gunnison, deeper in many places than it is wide. The Oak Flat Loop Trail starts not far from the visitor center, while only at two miles. It's quite strenuous due to its intense descent into the canyon and its inevitable ascent back up to the canyon rim. Enjoy our attempt at this short but intense hike. Okay, so what, what's the name of this trail again? Oak Loop Trail. Oak Loop Trail. I know I took a picture of it, but then I instantly forgot what it was called. And that's the lookout, the metal railing lookout that we have to go back up to. Beautiful day with perfect weather. Nice sunny day, but a little breeze. Oh, looks like a spider web. Or is that? Yeah, it looks like a spider web. Maybe it created a nest inside it. Try to find it. I don't want to mess with that. There's a bunch of little flies. It might crawl on you. Oh, and they're probably not Oh no, they're dead. They are idle. Yeah. Are we at least kind of close? I think so. It's tough stuff. It's beautiful though. There's more spiders. Thumbs up. Oh, that's a big one. Man. <laughs> that step is like 24 inches. My beard looks really gray. I need some Grecian formula. Out of his brow, the thinker <laughs> ponders how much farther it is to the top. <laughs> and can he make it? You make Rodan proud. You made it, babe, <laughs> by the skin of your teeth. 